Today, police in Toronto said they've broken up a large-scale international child pornography ring. The investigation led to the arrest of hundreds of people across six continents. But at the center of it all, a Toronto-based company accused of selling the disturbing images. The CBC's Ron Charles reports. Remnants of the Toronto-based website are still archived on the Internet, including the owner's emphatic promise that the videos of nude prepubescent boys are all perfectly legal. Customers from around the world could even pay with their credit cards and order up ready-made videos from a list of children. Toronto police took notice in 2010, shut down the site in 2011. Today, police announced details of the global investigation of the site's owner, his collaborators and clients. It's been alleged that he had uh, videographers and um, other people in other countries creating these videos of child pornography and um, he would then distribute it from his, his company. Police say those videos depicting children as young as five were all made in Romania and Ukraine. The site's owner, Brian Way, is charged with numerous child pornography offenses. Over the past three years, police around the world arrested 348 of the site's customers, 108 of them in Canada. The arrests included 40 school teachers, nine doctors and nurses, 32 people who volunteered with children, six law enforcement personnel, nine pastors or priests, and three foster parents. Among those charged with possessing child pornography, James Robert Coulter, a teacher at this Toronto school. And just last month, retired University of Alberta professor Andy Liu, a respected award-winning mathematician. That's how long they take. Author and CBC producer Julian Cheer followed police behind the scenes throughout the investigation for a series of articles for the Toronto Star. He's also written two books about the global fight against child pornography. While many of these people have been charged with child pornography, some in fact have been charged with hands-on abuses. In other words, they're not just buying these videos, they are physically abusing children. Toronto police say the global investigation did lead authorities to discover 386 children who were being sexually abused or exploited by customers of the website. 24 of those children in Canada. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.